a familiar emblem I sent anew as US forces re-emerge on Philippine terrain. This occurrence transcends a mere homecoming, embodying a profound historical significance and myriad future implications. The stars and stripes once more flutter adjacent to the Philippine banner, a potent emblem of the enduring alliance between these two nations, marked by both victories and adversities over the decades. This moment punctuates the intricate, long-standing relationship between the United States and the Philippines. From World War II to the Cold War, the bond between these countries has been tested and fortified over time. After years of absence, U.S. troops have returned to Philippine soil, signifying the evolving geopolitical landscape and the Philippines' strategic input within the broader context of regional security. This resurgence signals a renewed commitment to security and stability in the Asia-Pacific region. Both nations acknowledge the imperative to address burgeoning threats collaboratively, ensuring peace and stability in this vital area. The world keenly observes this renewed partnership, with analysts and policymakers scrutinizing its potential impact on regional dynamics and the balance of power in the Asia-Pacific. The return of U.S. troops underscores the shifting paradigms of global power, as old alliances are tested and new ones emerge. This reappearance is not just a military maneuver, but a powerful symbol of enduring ties and shared strategic interests. It underscores the mutual benefit sought through continued cooperation and partnership, evoking both hope and concern. Optimism about enhanced security and defense capabilities is tempered by apprehensions regarding the potential ramifications of increased military presence. Some view the U.S. troop presence as a deterrent to potential aggressors and a means to uphold regional stability, while others fear the risk of escalated tensions and unintended consequences. The presence of foreign troops can sometimes heighten tensions and lead to unforeseen outcomes. Nonetheless, the return of U.S. troops to the Philippines is a pivotal event with far-reaching implications, shaping the future of U.S.-Philippines relations and influencing the broader geopolitical landscape. Echoes of history resound in this partnership forged in conflict. The bond between the United States and the Philippines is deeply rooted in history, beginning in the late 19th century and evolving through periods of colonization, war, and eventual independence. During World War II, American and Filipino soldiers fought side by side, forging a bond that would endure long after the war ended. From the ashes of World War II, a strong alliance emerged, with collaborative efforts in rebuilding the Philippines showcasing the resilience and unity of both nations. The Philippines became a crucial U.S. ally during the Korean War, with Filipino troops playing a vital role and demonstrating their unwavering commitment to the alliance. This partnership extended beyond the battlefield, encompassing various aspects of regional stability. For decades, the U.S. maintained a significant military presence in the Philippines, with Clark Air Base and Subic Bay Naval Base symbolizing the enduring alliance. However, growing nationalism and sovereignty concerns led to the closure of these bases in the early 1990s, marking a significant shift in the bilateral relationship and necessitating a period of readjustment and redefinition. Despite the closure of the bases, the security partnership endured, with joint military exercises continuing to reflect the ongoing commitment to mutual defense and cooperation. The U.S. and the Philippines also collaborated on counterterrorism efforts, addressing emerging security threats and ensuring regional stability. China's rise casts a long shadow over the Asia-Pacific region, and the return of U.S. troops to the Philippines must be understood within this context. China's growing economic and military might, coupled with its expansive territorial claims in the South China Sea, have raised alarms. Beijing's actions have directly challenged the Philippines' sovereign rights and threatened the freedom of navigation in this crucial maritime route. The U.S. has a vested interest in maintaining peace and stability in the Asia-Pacific, ensuring open sea lanes and protecting the sovereignty of its allies. The return of U.S. troops is seen as a clear signal to Beijing, underscoring Washington's commitment to its allies and readiness to counter any aggressive moves. Joint military exercises are not merely about training, but a demonstration of unity and strength. The situation in the South China Sea is complex and fraught with risk, with overlapping territorial claims and military buildup creating a volatile environment. The Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement EDCA, signed in 2014, facilitates the return of U.S. troops to the Philippines, allowing for a rotational presence and granting access to key military facilities. EDCA is not a return to the large, permanent bases of the past, but a more flexible arrangement reflecting the evolving security needs of both countries. 
Under EDCA, the US has invested in infrastructure improvements at several Philippine military bases, enhancing the Philippines' defense capabilities and response to natural disasters and emergencies. EDCA is a testament to the enduring alliance between the United States and the Philippines, reflecting a shared commitment to deterring aggression and maintaining regional stability. This renewed military presence signifies a deepening bond and a fortified shield, echoing the historical partnership forged in conflict and resilience.